Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller, so say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? Hell if I know. This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. This is different.
Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Bursa Life, Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. Please call Hong Kong Alpha One Zero priority message. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be on to him. Then it's time for him to use the Orchid. Tell him. Killing Rucker... Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but... Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them. But at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And go. Alex, did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I don't want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. It'll have to be somewhere safe. Leave the task force when you can, and I'll contact you with a location. Adam, what are you doing in here? My job. What about you? I, I'm sorry that I wasn't questioning you. It was meant to be jovial. I guess I need to work on my timing. Anyway, I'm leaving a message for the director, asking if he's heard from Vince Black, our organized crime division head. Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... he never showed for our first meeting. From what I know of the Diwali, their influence extends outside of the Czech Republic. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Sure. I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed... antsy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well then, maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why stop now, right? Well listen, Adam, Lyon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Manderley? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Is there anything in Black's psyche valve that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. 
So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action he might take? I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns, so... If you'll excuse me, 